I love color. I'm a very colorful person, and I'm really drawn to really bright, happy colors. Different colors have different frequencies, and they have different elements of healing energy to them. So I've been using that as an idea, a touch point with my art. So yellow makes people happy, and blue makes people calm. And, and so I'm purposefully using that in my art. I'm a multimedia artist and I do many different types of art. I would say I'm a 2D, 3D geometric illumination artist. <laughs> I have a swing in my studio that brings great joy to me and brings people into the fourth dimension. They put on 3D glasses and they then are now in motion and everything is both 3D and 4D. When people come into my studio, I want them to have this aha moment. And when they look at a painting, they just see something that's two-dimensional and flat. And you know, for years, paintings have always been just this flat element. I try with my paintings to really make them pop and have lines of energy that really come forward. But when you wear the glasses, it actually becomes 3D. So these lines are leaping out. My work today I call geometric illuminations. So I'm really using the geometry in terms of shapes and forms and also illumination in terms of using lights in different ways. The evolution of my work really started when I had a painting show in Salzburg and I spent time on trains with my camera. I figured out that slow shutter speeds allowed me to catch blur motion and then I used that on my paintings. And one night I just threw one on the ground and I just grabbed my camera and I thought, I'm gonna see if I can make this thing come to life. And I just started taking pictures randomly, listening to music and really pushing it. What I saw was really amazing. Uh, not everything was amazing, but maybe three or four images were just startling and didn't look like the painting at all, and it just was a completely new direction for me. I'll just grab one of these images and start playing with it, and I'll throw it into Photoshop, and I'll start manipulating it by moving the sides and, and cutting and pasting and, and really transforming it from being just one flat rectangle image to make it into something that's much more uh, intriguing to my eye and also more dimensional. It was a two year long process of trying to figure out the best way to illuminate my work. And so I, I figured out a way to do uh, dado print cuts into plexiglass and then mount these. It's a considerable amount of work and it's also using the, the, the table saw as a paintbrush. So I've started moving beyond just doing wall mounted things to being, making things that are uh, floor mounted or, or just elements that uh, you can see without, without having it on the wall anymore. For the 2015 Northern Spark Festival, I created a rainbow pyramid light experience. It went through all the different colors of the chakras or the rainbow, they are the same, and also had uh, chakra music that went through all the different colors of the chakras. And so the colors are healing and, and the frequencies are healing. And so the effect of color and sound and, and geometry can really be powerful on an individual. And so I want to create an experience that people could really be in the color field. I love the quest and exploration to create new things. And I have a gazillion ideas and I have so many ideas that I haven't explored yet. I didn't know I would be doing this five years ago and I can't wait to see what I'm gonna be doing five years from now.